So you've been designing in New York for how many years? Uh, my whole life, really, but on paper, maybe uh, three and a half, four years. So you live and breathe New York City. Tell me what it means to be designing from New York. Uh, you know, this is home for us. We grew up here, so to be able to represent New York at this moment, it's a big, it's a big thing, and uh, you know, we're just happy to be a part of it. Yeah, and American fashion has really been kind of leading the way on a global level, and you guys are really part of that. Uh, how does it feel to be really involved in design and just really being so successful after um, such a relative short time? You know, if you look at New York as a city, you know, it inspired many things. Streetwear, you know, the whole, the whole, that whole movement came from here. And I think that it can't be faked anywhere else. So, you know, we, we really wanted to put that out on the runway. And I think the timing is right for American fashion and us being a part of this, you know, new class of brands and designers. And, you know, we're just uh, happy with the support and thrilled with, with where we are. So. And the city was really part of the DNA of the whole collection as well. Tell yeah. me about that. You know, we, we grew up here, whether it was the skateboarders or the guys wearing suits on Madison Avenue. What's up? And your brother's here. Obviously. Yeah, he's here. Um, yeah, we were just talking about um, how you guys are from New York and how New York is really part of the DNA of this particular collection as well. So yeah. tell me a little bit about that. So, you know, we grew up here. It's, it, this collection reflects who we are, you know, the music we listen to, the things that we did as kids, the trouble we got into, and, you know, the other side of things. So uh, just just having uh, the, the ability to put it out on the runway in the collection to reflect that, it's rewarding. Cool. Yeah. Now, do you guys, who wins when you fight over design? Uh, what's, what's, is it like you have to kind of go back and forth? You won this one, now it's my turn? That's, like, that's exactly what it is. You know, you called it. Sometimes I'll be like, I gave you the last one, so we're good, and we're then we're even. So that's really how it works. You know, you, it's a give and take. So it's a blessing and sometimes it's a little bit of a curse to be so close yeah. and have such a... Yeah, yeah. It's always a blessing, yeah, always you know. Imagine you had two of you, how much you'd be able to get done, you know. I wish I had. Yeah, exactly. That's funny. Um, so this is the inaugural New York Fashion Week men's. What does that mean to really be like a center show as part of that for you guys? Uh, when we first heard about it, you know, we were just excited and we hopped on board just to be a part of it. And then, uh, you know, to be in, in the spotlight, you know, 7 p.m. on the first day, it's, it's really cool, you know, good turnout, and it's just amazing, you know. But we, get to, we have to watch from back here, you and know. Of course, we have to thank the CFDA, you know, right. for, for playing a major role in that. So yeah. all that the support is great. Right. You guys have had a lot of support from a lot of people, the CFDA, um, editorially. What does that mean for your brand to, like, help you move everything forward? For us, it's just rewarding, you know, that people... Uh, you know, like what we're doing, so yeah. you know, it's that's just cool on its own. Right, and uh, and I told all the buyers and the editors and everyone, you know, I said, Europe has enough press. You know, they have people writing about the the companies and this and that. And now that we have an official Men's Week, it's time for everyone to step up and really showcase the American designers. We have so much talent here, and needs to be put, you know, on the big stage. Now, what's one of the worst fashion moments you guys have had in your young company? <laughs> right, so uh, if the first one that sticks out last season, we sent a guy down the runway. I don't think any, anyone noticed, but we forgot to take one of the tags off of the pants. So it was hanging at the back. I think that was the worst one, but no one noticed. So far, we'll take it. If that's it, we'll take that's it. Not so bad. That's not so that's bad. That's not so bad. The lights haven't gone out. The music hasn't abruptly stopped. Actually, this collection it was lost in Paris for three days. And we had no idea where it was. That was actually nerve-wracking. Right, we knew no one knew where it was. Customs. You don't want to be dealing with customs, right? It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. The show was amazing. One thing for spring. What would you? If a guy was going to pick out a couple things from the collection, what would you say? Like, what are some key pieces from what we just saw? For me, I like uh, the drapey Cupro fabrics and the prints. You know, the camo print and the floral print. The prints are always a favorite for me. For me, it's an outerwear, you know, a statement outerwear that you could wear over a t-shirt or your suit. So, yeah. Cool. Thanks, Go man. celebrate. Thank you. Thank All right. You. I hope you, you enjoyed the show. I really did. You guys did a great job.